Hey Libra, how you doing? Going to get into your read here for next week, the 7th to the 13th. So we are kind of starting that week off with that full moon and Taurus eclipse. So it's going to be some, it's going to be a lot of stuff going on here. And we have that, uh, you know, Mars in retrograde. So I mean, you know, we'll see what the, what the energy is looking like and we will take it from there. These are general readings, so take what resonates. If you guys are interested in personal readings, that information is in the description box down below. First card coming out is the Three of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Uh, Three of Pentacles is, um, you know, coming together here with me with others, or maybe you're just focused on building something, uh, you know, brand new for yourself. Maybe, you know, there's something you walked away from. And you're starting something new, but I mean, you have three people here, so it could be, you know, collaborating with others. Maybe you're thinking about that. So let's see. Um, what is your challenge here, Libra? What is your challenge? Temperance, Sagittarius energy. So I don't know, Libra. I mean, this is an energy that, um, you know, if you when you're starting something new, you know, let's say it's a uh, whatever it is, new project or um, something to where you want to level up financially, right? Because again, you're at the Three of Pentacles. Temperance challenging you, it's like a need to be patient, but you're really trying to get this going, which isn't a bad energy. I mean, you like, to, I mean, you very, it feels like a determined energy, you know? Maybe there is something that you're researching, learning, doing something with that Page of Swords. But I feel like with just these two cards in your reading, it's like, all right, there's a new beginning somewhere. There's a new start something and something, but it's like, you know, patience is also needed here. All right, so let's see the recent past. What is the recent past here for Libra? Three of Wands. So Three of Wands energy, I mean, you can see that, um, you know, Three of Wands is waiting for something to come in, waiting for your ships to come in. But I feel like, Libra, you said, you know what? The ships are not coming. I need to go see what else is out there. So you're out there. You can see her she's looking out in the ocean she's saying you know what let me you know let me build my own boat and let me just get the heck out of here and let's figure something out and i feel like that's what you're doing you're starting this this whole new thing look at this ace of wands right after that a new idea something brand new that you're passionate about so let's see your focus then what is the focus for libra i like that energy i mean you know temperance even though temperance is there you know in a challenge state you know, it's still, like I said, it's not an energy where it's like, oh, Libra, it's bad to do that. No, it's it's good to really push yourself, but also understand that some things may not, you know, work out when you want it to work out. And if you can balance that out, temperance, right, then I feel like things are going to be just fine here for you. So let me see the focus here for Libra. Four of Pentacles. You see how there's a lot of, a lot of stuff about finances here. Now the four of pentacles, um, you can see she's holding, holding the coins very close to her, right? And so I feel like, you know, this idea, right? Because we saw that ace of wands earlier. Maybe it is something here that you are keeping very close to yourself. You're not sharing with others here. So maybe this is something very private to you. Maybe it's something that you don't want to really expose yet. You really want to work in the background here, right? So I am picking up that type of energy, but also I'm picking up that, um, you know, maybe that you are, you're trying to, you know, save your money on something here, okay? Maybe you're just looking at your finances. Maybe there's something here that you want to pursue on, but you need to budget as well, okay? I do see a tower as well. So towers are changes here. So something is shifting. Let me see um, the possibilities here. Three of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Energy. Now the P, uh, the P of Cups, what the fuck are you talking about, Neil? Three of Cups, all right, Three of Cups here. Um, it is a friend, coworker type of vibe here, okay? And it is something about coming together here. I feel like it's like um, sharing ideas because, um, you know, creative ideas, coming together and trying to, to build something. So you have the Three of Pentacles, the Three of Cups. So there is some sort of collaboration. There is some people around you here, or maybe you're planning to, uh, you know, meet with them, network a bit about getting something going. So I feel like this is moving towards, you know, something that you've been, whoever this resonates with, it's like someone that is trying to, 
uh, you know, maybe you are creating something, maybe you are like a writer, maybe you are a reader, maybe you are someone on, you know, just creating videos and stuff. I mean, something like that, right, um, is what I'm picking up. Now, it doesn't have to be, but in this energy here, I'm just picking up an energy of like trying to, you know, it's like coming into this being an entrepreneur type of energy, all right? Um, let me see this near future here. Ace of Cups. Near future energy, it's like, Ace of Cups is working on yourself, focusing on you, and I feel like whatever this is that you're working on, this Ace of Cups is like moving towards things that you makes you happy, because we saw that sun earlier, right? So maybe this is something that changes your lifestyle, man. Like, you know, maybe this is something that, you know, you are looking and, and trying to see that, you know, if, if I create something that, you know, you could... Uh, you know, your bills are paid, you know what I mean? And, and and things are just kind of happening. You can kind of enjoy more of your, your life. You can travel. You could do things like that, right? It's interesting because, like, I remember I said something to one of my friends. I was like, I was talking to her and I was like, you know, in the past I've always had, uh, you know, positions where they, they took a lot of time, right? So management positions, right? And, you know, you spend early morning, you know, you're hitting traffic uh, and then you come home very late. And that's typically your day, Monday through Friday. And then Saturdays would be like, you know, get up and, you know, whatever, cut the grass and all that crap. And then before you know it, Monday's here, right? And that was the routine, you know, and I felt like money was coming in, money was fine. But my lifestyle, my personal life wasn't there. And I feel like, you know, making some decisions in my life that, I'm able to have more time to enjoy life and travel a little bit more and my stuff are taken care of. It's like, hey, that works out for me. Not saying that it's going to be the same for everyone, but that's kind of the energy that I'm seeing here. It's like creating a lifestyle that's less stress for you is kind of what I'm seeing here. So somebody here is making moves to, to um, you know, maybe things in the past, you know, that hasn't been coming towards you. Maybe there's raises. Maybe there was stuff that you wanted that wasn't coming in. Maybe this is a situation you're leaving that's like, you know, takes, like I said, takes a lot of time, time from you. So whatever it is here, it's like you're creating your own lifestyle that you want, okay? Um, so a new beginning. We saw that Ace of Wands. We have the Ace of Cups here. So definitely potential for our change for new beginnings here. Let's see in your power here what's going on. High Priestess. So there's some energy here about you really trying to develop a plan or maybe thinking or meditating or keeping to yourself. You know, the High Priestess here is an energy of, um, you, you know, not sharing. As I said, four pentacles, not sharing, keeping very close, things close to yourself here. It's like keeping the cards towards you, okay? Ten of Swords could be something that is, you know, a lot of thinking going on here is what I'm picking up here. You're, you're in a planning stage is what I'm getting on something here, whoever this resonates with. Let me see the environment. We do have the Three of Swords. With that Ten of Swords I just saw, maybe this is something that you are... Mm, I mean, this could just be negative thinking too. So that's it, it's the environment here. So maybe... There's people around you that, uh, you know, if you want to, you know, focus on something new, maybe there's there's some sort of negativity coming towards you. Maybe they say that you can't do that, or maybe you watch out for this. Why? Like putting some sort of doubt in you, okay? Maybe this is self-doubt because it's swords energy, all right? So, again, that's just, you know, that's energy you can change, but that's what's showing up here. Um, it doesn't feel like, you know, like you, you separated from someone. If you did separate from someone... You know, it's an energy of you are still working through a heartbreak here and building something from the ground up, you know. It's like you separated and you realize you have to start something new. But I still have this this, this pull that you want something that you are very satisfied for, you know. So let's see. Let's see the hopes and fears here for Libra. Six of Swords, Aquarius energy, moving away. I mean, this is an energy of moving away from... A situation into calmer waters so you are like i said you're starting something brand new here whatever this is for you this is, this is a general read but someone here is choosing their happiness working on themselves and and you know again you know just understanding that this is a brand new beginning but also patience is needed it goes back on temperance here what is the potential outcome here for libra 
Six of Cups, Scorpio energy. I mean, there's a lot of energy of reflection here. Now, the Six of Cups is also soulmate, and you know, maybe you're dealing with someone else with that Three of Swords, and we'll see what that is. Maybe that is a case here, but I also pick up an energy of you just reflecting back at your journey here. So, whatever you're moving forward towards, I feel like there's a there's an energy here of looking back on where you were and where you came from. You know what I mean? And and I don't know why. Let me see the Six of Cups though. Let me see this Six of Cups here for Libra, the devil. Maybe there is something here. There's an energy here about, you know, maybe you're pulled towards something from the past here. Maybe you're thinking of maybe a communication coming towards you, Libra. I mean, that may not resonate for everyone, but with the devil being over here and you have the Six of Cups, there could be a soulmate or maybe someone here that you've dealt with in the past that you feel like you're still trying to move away from and that four of pentacles is like an energy of being to yourself wanting to move forward knowing that you have to kind of move forward maybe some friends are helping you needing to work on yourself again three of pentacles is starting this up from the ground up doing a lot of uh you know keeping to yourself this is meditation like i said also using your intuition in the direction that you're moving towards but also there's a sense of needing to um heal and let go of a situation here so let me see this three of swords then what is this three of swords empress so you're just moving into an energy of it's like a mix of healing you know going over a disappointment a heartbreak uh you know remembering someone here i don't know if th this this could be a fresh energy for you you have the moon here as well so there could be something here that either resurfaced for you or you recently left a situation and you're you're dealing with some sort of heartbreak here so it's still in your energy it's still affecting you it's still moving forward because you can see her you know she's looking down in the water here and you can see the crows you're pulling the boat and everything she's not smiling she's not happy so she's moving forward still but it's like it's something about feeling disappointed that you have to leave a situation and it could have been because of a soulmate energy of someone else here but as you know i don't feel like the word uh, you know toxic but i do feel like there's an energy of like someone may have felt held down or maybe there was someone here that was it was just a you know more of a negative type of i just pick up negative environment here okay but you're choosing yourself and moving to the empress type of energy here so there could be a lot of like um you know deep dreams maybe you're starting to see synchronicities uh just because you have that six of swords moving forward this could be a spiritual awakening for you um but again it's it's building something from the ground up so if there's anything from the reading here with temperance being your challenge it's like yeah, you are starting something new and it's very tough because I can see in the energy here that you're still working through this Three of Swords energy. You know, whoever is doing, you know, the High Priestess here is meditating and, and taking time out for yourself, taking time out, not really sharing much. But also you have a close connection or someone here that is helping you move forward. So there's something about patience here. It's like, I feel like you you're in an energy of like wanting to just get this over with don't want to think about it i want to move forward i want to invent i want to enjoy my time now but again it's needing to balance yourself out so this may not resonate for a lot of you guys but i mean like there's someone here that is trying to work through their energies and you know trying to let go of something here but again focusing on yourself so those things do take time i mean those uh everyone um you know moves through everyone has a different journey so they move through their own timing on things on healing right but um i feel like anything that can help you in this reading whoever this resonates with is you know when you do move forward and you're starting something from the ground up you know we always hear you know it's meant to be and all that stuff and that's true it is true but some someone in this type of energy really doesn't want to hear that you know it's like it's more of the best way to do it is is to yeah reflect on the past six of cups right look back at the opportunity that you were in and you had the opportunity to, to feel that way with this person or the situation once upon a time you liked it you know whatever this was but now it doesn't work because you know the universe does want you to move and excel into something better here right so you know you have to kind of look at it as a learning experience and i feel like that is going to help you uh you know move forward and understand that things will take time three of pentacles building something from the ground up if it's a friendship you know starting something new everything else is you know focusing on yourself 
first, you know? And, and I feel like when you start realizing that you'll take it day by day and you're not pushing to like be at a certain level by the end of the month or whatever it is, you'll, things will be easier. You know what I mean? I wish I can kind of sit here and say, you know, exactly. And this is the, you know, going to fix everything. But again, I don't know you and, you know, I mean, that everyone works differently. So, um, but I do feel like, at least for me, when I look back at situations here that, you know, maybe sometimes resurface because that full moon energy does that. It's, it's looking back at, you know, looking back at those things and saying, hey, you know what? I, I got to experience that. I learned my lesson. Time to start new. Time to work on me and, and uh, live in the moment is what I'm picking up here. All right. So Libra, I'm going to pull up three cards here just to see if there's any more advice I can give you or any more messages in the reading here. Page of Swords, Page of Pentacles, and the Wheel of Fortune. So it's like you, you know, Page of Swords here, learn something new. Maybe there's a new hobby. Maybe there's something new you want to study, right? Page of Pentacles, look at new opportunities. Again, there's just pages. Look into different things here. But with the Wheel of Fortune sitting over there, it's an energy that things are going to shift in your favor here. Things are going to start moving forward. And you may not see that now, but I feel like with the work you put in with that Ace of Cups here, you're going to start seeing things starting starting to shift for you. Seven of Swords is sitting over here too. And again, the tower is right there. So the Seven of Swords here, it is a lying, cheating, stealing type of card. But at the same time, this card also means move in silence. So I feel like Four of Pentacles, it's like you're in this energy of um, you know needing to... Um, Whatever direction this is, it's like something about keeping to yourself and, and using your intuition, being very intuitive here. So it's like, don't share your ideas, you know, because I feel like this with the Wheel of Fortune here, it's like, this could be ideas. You're doing some research on something, but it's going to shift in something bigger later. So it's like, you don't want to share it to where people steal your ideas. You know what I mean? So someone here has something that they're working on that could develop into something really big because the Empress is here and she has a lot of ideas. And it doesn't matter male or female, but that's moving into that direction. So, so I feel like this reading is also like, watch what you're saying to people, your ideas, how, who you're sharing with, whoever that resonates with. So I feel like I should stop there before things get really confusing, but hopefully it resonated for someone here. I don't feel like it's going to be for a lot, but I mean, that's what's coming out on this reading here, Libra. And of course, if it did, please do hit that like, leave a comment and let me know, but... I'll stop it right there. All right, guys. We'll see you. You guys have a good one.